I am architect Sunil Patil, principal architect of Sunil Patil Associates. Uh, Sunil Patil Associates is a team of architects, interior designers and engineers founded in 1994 by me and then in 2010 we started our Pune office with two more partners, architect Anuja Pandit and Mr. Sanjay Patil. Uh, it's a collector office and collector office is uh, normally uh, it's a powerhouse for the district and the brief was that uh, with all the government departments they wanted to have their office spaces for uh, revenue department or, or all other departments which they require to govern uh, uh, the district but more than that what we we thought of it you know beyond the brief was to create uh, the spaces for the visitors, you know, because normally in a collector office, the visitors are uh, from all over the districts, and most of them are villages where they have to spend the entire day waiting us to get the work done. So, creating those spaces for their uh, wait for them to wait to have their lunch boxes, maybe to relax, was more important to us. The site was the existing collector office, which uh, there were, you know, this is the you know, site like this. It's a junction, uh, a major junction in the city uh, with existing collector uh, offices. This site is about six acres, okay, something around uh, 22,600 square meters. And then it already had small, small uh, structures. We were fun they functioning as existing collector uh, offices. But then the most important part of it was the site has about 193 trees out of which more than 50 trees are more than 50 years old well grown huge trees and our our main challenge was to save those trees now going by the conventional method uh, what what one could do was to provide uh, a basement for uh, parking because this this program is about two lakh square feet of construction which requires uh, more than 250 car parks and uh, kind of going conventionally with basement planning it would have increase the footprint and uh, forced to cut a lot of trees which we avoided we took a different approach to this project so in, in initial proposal of government which was not done by us they had recommended to cut about 120 trees out of 196 and and by our, our new proposal we saved 112 trees and only eight trees were supposed to be shifted or, or you know cut and then what we did was like we we located areas where there were less number of trees we, we we designed three different wings two two wings mainly working as you know the offices for the collector office with with of course the courtyards which is our uh, 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 normal system because we do not allow floor pit to exceed more than eight meters uh, from the exterior face because because we we expect we design natural light in every square inch of the building and so there are two wings being a wing b and then we designed third wing, which is a parking building. And then we, we, de we designed a plaza, uh, of, uh, which is this, these two wings are G plus five. And then we have six floor as collector's wing with, with a small uh, skylight and a, a courtyard in between. And then these three wings are, co are connected by uh, bridges at all levels so that the officers park their vehicles at the same floor and then just simply walk to their uh, offices so that you know the, the use of uh, elevators is minimized and again then there are bridges connecting to these two wings and, and that makes this building not just architecturally excellent and architecturally excellent but also structurally excellent building because these bridges are spanning about uh, 24 meters and they are small uh, kind of in tube in form completely done in steel steel structure then if you actually see uh, how it rises, the elevation part of it is, is something like this, like this, these two wings. Then we have uh, some places we have terrace. I'm showing you now the front facade of the building. And then we have uh, the lower story as stone masonry, which has been used. This is the stone masonry, which has been used from the existing uh, demolished structures. And the collector's wing sits right on top of this in this fashion. So this is the collector's wing. And then these are the, these are the bridges which I mentioned at two levels. So this is how the concept is. And here we have created, if you see this, a huge plaza which is about 10,000 square feet, which is not in their brief because you know, providing waiting spaces for 
this invariable occupancy as per uh, as indoor spaces is not affordable in government buildings so we had to create this kind of spaces and then again the these trees which are there which we have saved with a lot of efforts we have converted them into waiting spaces by, by designing a small uh, you know parks below every tree and and today if you visit this place you see people you know sitting here people having their lunch people sleeping and waiting for their work so these are the additional spaces we have created for people beyond the brief given by the government so as far as building and all is concerned that we very strongly believe that it has to be climate responsive building and all we don't believe in uh, copying you know those uh, western styles with glass person which, which is not apt for our climate so building and all fair is with uh, fins which are sun breakers and they 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 span changes as per the uh, direction like it, it is different to north and different to south and west side so this 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 fins are used to avoid radiation but allow to allow a good view from inside to outside as well as a good breeze and light